Hey loveys, it's your girl Sean from Beauty Beyond. Oh, I miss you guys so much and I look like shit. <laughs> I really do. I look so ridiculous, but I don't even know. And at this point, I don't even know what's going on with my hair. <laughs> oh, I look a mess. Okay. Look at this. What is this? Okay, I'm allow y'all to see me looking like a mess because it's early. Let me quit lying. It is like three something in the day. But today was my day off and I just was sleeping and sleeping and sleeping and sleeping. So apparently I was just tired. But it's from me trying to like party and I always party and go out to the club and then go to work. And I think everything is catching up with my behind. So... It's supposed to be a honk, y'all, but I don't know what happened, so we just gonna leave it like whatever. Don't talk about me. Just help a sister out, okay? Just understand that it's been rough. I don't even know what's going on with the side. Alright, anyway, so this video is um, a video response to Much Love. I'm not gonna edit this video. It's just raw and uncut today, but let me tell you. When she, this is the response to her self, uh, help a sister out video. When she read that um, message, I had deja vu. I was like, damn, did I write this? Because it almost, it almost made me think about, um, I was in a situation like this when I was in um, high school. Where, um, in my freshman year, um, this girl, like, of course I went to like a new school and I was separated from like most of the kids that I went to middle school with. Um, cause of like where we live, we were separated. So like, depending on the district that you lived or how you live, some went to like one high school and the others went to other high schools. So it was only me and one girl out of our group of friends that went to the high school that I went to. So, um, I made friends with this girl, like my first day I made friends with this girl and, um, come to find out I had known her sister in middle school but I wasn't really that close to her sister so um me and her became good friends whatever she introduced me to this guy right now we live in a small town where everybody knows everybody and everybody has dated everybody almost that's pretty much how small the town is or whatever so she introduced me to this guy and his name was Earl and I thought he was like the finest dude Oh my God, freshman year, you know, you not young, dumb, don't know nothing. I thought he was the finest dude. So me and the dude, we talked for a while. Some things happened. That situation ended. So then the girl that was my best friend, actually, no, he started dating a girl that was in our crew by the name of Elaine. Okay, so then him and Elaine broke up. And then the girl that was my best friend, he started dating her. And they were like that on and off again relationship. And the same thing with me and him. And I, I really regret that situation because it made, but it made me learn a lot in life. Here's the thing. When a dude, when you guys are in a group like that and the dude is trying to be, he's dating your friend but he's being underhanded, sneaky, trying to holler at you. You need to do exactly what Much Love told you to do. Because his ass need to be caught. He is trifling, he's a dog, and he needs to be shown, the, the light needs to be shown on him, shined on him, I'm sorry, and show everybody the dog that he is. Now, like Much Love said, she, she needs you, and I need you, to get your eggs in a basket. Yes, we do. And I will go so far as to say, take all those messages, and if you have a Blackberry, like, I love my trusty Blackberry because I have all my messages and stuff. Or if you have a cell phone that, you know, you could put store everything to, store all those messages. Because whether you know it or not, you can go into MySpace, right-click that, and it will sh click on the person's name, the message was sent. And you can, um, Facebook, you can do the same thing. Click on that compile those messages and put them in a separate like email folder and hold them you need to save all your text messages and I don't know how some people's phone works but like my phone it holds like thousands and thousands of messages so what I can do is save all just save those particular messages to a save folder and the rest of them and delete them out of my regular text message so when you do go to your friend and you do go to present this evidence to her and she's gonna not believe you 
she probably gonna wanna fight your ass. She probably gonna call you a bitch and all that. You know it's gonna happen. And then she's gonna go tell the dude what you say. He's gonna lie and say, you know, sh you know, she ain't no good, no way. She ain't nothing but a hoe. You know, fuck that bitch. You don't need as a friend, no way. That's how it's gonna go down. So what I would suggest is when she starts tripping, say, hold on, baby girl, I got it. Pull it out. Dates. Have it in order, dates. And let her know this is how long it's been going on. Now, here's the kicker. You need to tell your man and her at the same time, is my opinion. Like, you know, invite her over the crib or whatever, and he while he there, you know, playing that baby, you know, I want to talk to y'all about something and let it out. Because if you tell them separate, in my thought opinion, now you can tell them separate if you want to, but in my thought opinion, you tell them separate. If if you if you gonna tell, tell him first, then tell her. Because if you tell her first and she gets to her man before you get to your man, your man, her her man is gonna really throw you under the bus. He gonna make you look trifling like you a hoe, you a skeezer, chicken head, hood rat, whatever you know they have out here these days. That is what he's gonna make the situation out to be. So. I feel much love on this situation. You definitely need to get your eggs in the basket. Let me tell you, because I made the wrong mistake in letting a guy talk to me like that. I let the guy talk to me, and I didn't tell my friend. And I told another friend, and the friend later got mad at me, turned it around on me, and went and told my best friend. And then I looked, my best friend was calling me a bitch in the hole because... The dude turned it around on me and was like, nah, you know how it is. You know, she been liking me since her freshman year. You know, she just want me. She's just jealous. Blah, 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 blah. And that wasn't the case. So, I'm going to tell you, before all of it go down, and y'all got to get the Vaseline and the tennis shoes on, get your evidence. Get your evidence and let your girlfriend know that she needs to leave him alone because he ain't nothing but a trifling dog. And that whole Facebook thing, that is why I hate Facebook. Because dudes like him make Facebook so they can be sneaky and underhanded and be trifling to their girlfriends or whatever. But you need to call him out and let, let the world know that he's a dog. So that is my opinion on that situation. I hope you get it resolved. I hope nothing bad happens. And we love you, you know. And if you still need another sister to sister, just know we're here. And like I always say, loveys, it's not about how much it costs, it's how you apply it. So y'all keep doing your thing, and I will see you later. Bye, much love.